So if you're still trying to figure out why the crypto market is down, uh, that's what I'm going to uh, talk to you about in this particular video. And I think that this is just the continued evolution of uh, the events that happened earlier this week. And we're going to get into all of that. So first and foremost, we've got the market situation playing out where we've had a ton of market cap disappear, about 400 plus billion in the last you know week or so uh, has happened. And we're still down in this one, we're still down 1.2%. If you look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, themselves you can see these are the dramatic plunges over here on the on the uh, graphs but you know we plunged and then we've we've really kind of <clears throat> thankfully started some kind of a, a a sideways consolidation pattern at least we're not pretty you know dropping dramatically it would seem that bitcoin has found hopefully keyword being hopefully uh, has found its support levels at around you know the 40 40 the 41,000 range the and uh, Ethereum and the 3200 range. You can see right here in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin did touch off of the 41,000 uh, dollar mark. There's definitely a lot of uh, technical analysis out there that are some people that I look to and that give me input uh, that says that this is a uh, this looks like maybe where we're going to be a support. There's one below it which is 38,000, but if we can hold the line at 41,000, then we are uh, looking good at least to kind of stay here for a little bit until this overall situation turns. So as far as to the reasons of why the overall crypto market is down, we had two big events happen this week. We had the internet uh, shut down in Kazakhstan, which is a, uh, a, a, a country where um, uh, the, uh, the overall leadership, there's a lot of turmoil. There's a lot of uh, turmoil in the leadership as well as in the country, uh, fuel prices going up, etc. Et and the uh, internet telecom uh, company in Kazakhstan is a state-owned and state-run government entity. He shut that in that the that basically that company down uh, to stop his opposition being able to talk about him and say bad things, etc. There's a lot more than that, but that basically shut down the over 12 plus percent of the Bitcoin global Bitcoin mining operations. Okay, so 12 percent of the global Bitcoin mining uh, comes out of uh, Kazakhstan. Okay, so that's where a lot of the minor uh, the mining operations are because of low uh, low electric electric electrical costs, etc. Okay, so. That's what's going on there, um, and that, that that situation will ultimately eventually rectify itself. And I think that that's obviously built into the price. The other one, though, that's bigger and that's more global is the situation where here in the United States, the Federal Reserve came out and said that they're going to raise uh, they're going to raise interest rates three times this year in 2022. They're tightening up their monetary policy. They're going to quit injecting liquidity into the into uh, uh, on a monthly basis, and at least pull back from what they're doing, etc. So, and then oh, beyond that, wrapped around that, you've got COVID, you've got everything, you've got global supply chain issues, cost of goods sold, cost of are rising, uh, you got inflation. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. And oh, by the way, it's built into this number right here. Crypto fear and greed index look is at ten. We are at an all time low, at least as far as I can remember. This is a uh, this is a low. So you've got this right here measures uh, basically like retail social sentiment across uh, multiple multiple channels, and it just tells you that everybody is extremely fearful right here right now. Okay, so that's what's going on. I mean, that's the current state of the union. And if you look at the price action, you can see it. I mean, it's starting to turn a little bit. You can people are tr it's trying it's trying to turn on, but people are still. This is the biggie. It, it, beyond everything I just said. This is the big one. This really measures across, you know, this measures hundreds of millions or more, if you will, kind of social sentiment, uh, people like you and I, all right? That's what it does. And uh, this is a situation right now that we just got to continue to play out and see how it, how it, how it evolves. Um, but I'll bring this home. I mean, this is an opportunity, like I've been saying in, in, in previous videos, this is an opportunity to pick up some of your favorite coins and tokens um, at a discounted rate. Solana at a buck 45, et cetera. I mean, you can move on. There's just, this is what's transpiring. Okay, guys, I wanted to bring this to you. So hopefully, uh, you know, maybe it brings you a little bit of comfort, a little bit kind of knowing that we're all in the proverbial same boat together and we'll just continue to ride this out until it changes. All right, I'll see you later. Take it easy.